Talking about the new year, ringing in the new year, many people thinking of plans of how to celebrate, but some may also be thinking of their resolutions. Joining us now to talk about how we can succeed in achieving our New Year's goals, Rabbi Simon Jacobson. Rabbi, thanks for joining us. You, you know, here's the deal, and I'll be very honest with you. You set up these goals you, you, during the New Year's, and you make it about a couple weeks, maybe three weeks into it, and then you kind of you kind of slack off on those goals. How can you stick to them? The million-dollar question, of course. Uh, this is a question that has plagued people from the beginning of time every New Year's. You make a resolution, as you just said, and for the last till the January 2nd, we'd also be lucky. I'll give one practical suggestion. Instead of having the fantasy that we all like to escape to, that I'll just start losing weight or I'll begin a new project, I think it's critical to identify within your life the things you're certain about. Everybody has certain certainties, values, the people you love, goals, and just stick, keep it small. Just say, here's something I'm certain about. I'm certain that I would like to share something kind with people that are in need. Yeah. And just stick to that and do it small day by day. I think when you make the goals too large and they're not things that really are natural to you, that's very hard to hold on to. I agree with so you make on a that. List. Yeah. Yeah, Rabbi, and I, I, I'd like to add too, just a, a frank conversation, open dialogue with you. Perhaps setting something that is easy enough as uh, mending a relationship over the year, that a friendship, a relationship with a family member that you may have lost over this year due to how you feel about COVID vaccines or COVID itself. I mean, that really separated a lot of families and friends. Absolutely. I mean, this period of time brought out the worst in some people, but it also brought out the best, I must say, because, you know, when uh, our comfort zones are disrupted, it forces us to dig deeper. In many ways, I've seen many people mend relationships and we get a lot closer because they had to. They had no choice. But for others, it actually created deeper rifts. So I think New Year's 2022 is a real opportunity. It's an opportunity to look deeper inside yourself and realize what is petty and the small things and really not sweat the small stuff and really focus on the things that matter, the things that are more eternal. Remember, a relationship is forever. And why not work on it now and begin to mend instead of to uh, to split? Absolutely. You know, you, you, your family's all you've got. And if you do have those and your lifelong friends, those are something that we can invest the time in. Just a suggestion. Maybe you could put that out there. Bottom line, before you go, what are some ways people can begin the year with a whole new mindset? We'll close on that. Yeah. Remember, we are not, we are not in control of the circumstances around us but we're completely in control of how we navigate. You must know that, that you have the tools. A good swimmer doesn't necessarily know all the impediments that lay ahead, but they have the confidence because they have the methodology. So dig deeper into your soul, access your resources, and build the confidence by being around others with confidence that you know that whatever comes your way, any twist and turn, you can definitely navigate and swim through. That is the key to everything, holding on strong to those eternal and spiritual values. We are put on this earth. We need others. We do. Rabbi Simon Jakes for joining us with that uh, very positive message of the new year. Rabbi, thank you. Thank you.